Welcome everybody. This is a day trader genius uh, daily review, daily stock option review for February 25th, 2019. I'm your host Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. Welcome Coach Rob. And uh, we're here to show people that, hey, you can make a nice little uh, coin pretty much every day trading stock options if you have the right knowledge, the right training, the right coaching, and the right tools. Looking at the screen right here, this is our basket. This is a collection of the best options. There are 13 on this day. The best stocks, four options. And you can see it was kind of an up and down day, mostly red on, on the whole, but there were some green moves and some red moves. And so we'll take a look at uh, examples of each. Um, and the beauty of options is we can make money, uh, make a profit, uh, using the volatility and the delta on options uh, in a short amount of time, whether the market is going up or down. So the basket kind of gives us a snapshot of the market overall, just to see what happened throughout the day. So let's backtrack just a little bit, use our replay controller here. And all this is on the Trader Genius uh, options day trader replay system. And we'll go back to the very beginning of the day, right as the market opens, and we'll go to one minute candles. And let's get a different stock up here. I'm going to share my other screen actually. And you can take a look. We'll start out with SPY, but I really want to get to NVIDIA because it had a really active morning. And right here we go to one minute candle so we can see exactly what NVIDIA did to start off the morning. And if you just click forward one minute at a time, NVIDIA really had a, a strong red start for the first few minutes. And then after uh, those first five minutes, we usually sit out. That's what I'll coach my students to do uh, because it's just high risk in those first five minutes. Uh, overnight trading is settling down and uh, you don't really get a, a clear trend a lot of times in those first five minutes. So wait for 936 and you can see NVIDIA get some background color. Uh, the beauty of our system is it's all color coded. So green candles means the price is going up. We're at 162.86 and we get that green highlight in the background called signal. And NVIDIA starts to break out of what we call the risk zone. This orange area right here outlined by the blue lines. It's just risky business here. So wait till it, it crests out or uh, above or under that, uh, that risk zone as NVIDIA is doing right here. So 937, let's buy a call, which is the option you make money going up with. And we bring over the buy close options. This is what you use in the replay system to test your trades, buy a call. And we'll move forward one minute at a time just to track NVIDIA's move. But I'll tell you right beforehand, it was a pretty one. So let's get going. You have to watch out for these resistance lines. They'll, they'll give you some, some wicks on top, uh, but we don't really have any volume spikes. We're not hitting any major price points uh, or um, time windows. So you just gotta watch as NVIDIA just continues to have higher highs, that's what we, say when the green candles just keep going higher, higher on the price point. And now we are approaching a pretty major price point, 165. So let's keep an eye on it as it approaches that. We don't have any volume spikes yet, but the market's kind of middling. It's going against us and we're sitting at 28%. Uh, I think that's pretty darn good, Scott. We'll close that out. Uh, we don't want even, why, why even get greedy? Uh, this is a long streak, eight candles. Uh, so you don't want to push it. You might as well exit into strength and take a ridiculous, that's a home run. I mean, that's a grand slam of a trade uh, on 28% profit. You just don't see that every day. So uh, we'll be happy with NVIDIA. And as I was saying, uh, you know, to start off this review, this was an up and down day. So we caught that first 10, 12 minutes of nice green action. <clears throat> and then we saw in the basket that it fell red. So our next couple trades are going to be uh, red moves, bear moves. So when the prices are falling, we would buy what's called a put option instead. And I'm just going to move forward. And you can see NVIDIA did pretty much go sideways after we got out. So it was a, a, a good timing for us. We were out near the top, but we exited into strength. And that's important in the live market. Now we're going to switch away from NVIDIA. We'll go to a different ticker, Baidu. And right here at 1016, you can see Baidu had a really strong red start to the morning. And then it bounced back green, up to almost opening price. And after that, a lot of the action or a lot of the price movement uh, actually dropped off. We, we stopped having so much price action. 
Now, NVIDIA is breaking down to a low CLV, 23, but what we're gonna do here is enter with a put option, and we're looking for that bottom right there. So you look where it previously touched. So one of the best things we can do is just read the past behavior of these stocks as they roll. So Baidu had a nice, had a lot of bears uh, selling down to about 166, 50, 166, I call that 75. So that's kind of what we want to target. It's going to be in this range right here. And we're getting some volume to kick us off, breaking out from all this support before. So let's see how far we can go one minute at a time. You got to have a strong hand. So you're getting lower lows. You're getting uh, your K band coming on and signal. There's a, a volume. It's not a spike. Uh, we've seen spikes earlier in the day. So let's just see what happens. See if we keep hitting resistance or if it's going to break down lower. And the, my exit strategy for this one would be more, it's a creeping uh, move. It's just, it's not a very strong move, but I'm looking at that 1030 time frame. And if we're sitting at 15% profit uh, as the time window is approaching, let's exit there and call it a day. That's a really good move, really good profit. It looks a little bit cleaner if you go to a different uh, time scale, but that's an important lesson on from Baidu. Maybe the coach's tip of the day would be watch your time windows. We entered right as the 1015 time window was kind of opening. It's a minor one, but 1030 is the bottom of the hour. The tops and bottoms of the hours, just every trader knows, um, you know, who, who's been experienced a little bit, knows that you got to watch out for those reverses around the time windows, tops and bottoms of the hour. So watch out for those. And then we had a nice one. Uh, here we trade uh, stocks sometimes, like we saw with NVIDIA and Baidu, but we also trade indexes. So we're gonna look at the Russell 2000 and just move forward in time a little bit in this day. 12, 20, let's get and see, see what the situation is. So IWM, as we said, had had, the, the markets had had a cyclical day and the indexes will usually mirror that. Uh, generally, uh, but it was down, it was up, it was down, it was up and down again. So let's see what the, a lot of times, and, and just kind of harking back to the Baidu comment I made earlier, a lot of these are going to coincide with uh, time windows. So right around the 12 o'clock hours when we had all this red signal come on and the red move started. So this might be just kind of a down hour. And if you move forward to 1225, we're breaking out below that risk zone again. And as we saw before, the previous behavior of the stock is a good indicator that you might find support at that time. Support is, is, uh, is not a good thing. It's when you're, well, when you're in a red move, it's not a good thing. So it could stop your trend, let's put it that way, if you're on a red move. So let's get in at 1224. We're breaking the risk zone and we're gonna get in a put option. So we'll roll and see how far it goes down. Making a nice profit so far. Now this is gonna be a much longer move. Uh, indexes, especially in the afternoon, there's lower volume. You can see there's not a lot of volume down here and they tend to just take their sweet time and you have to have one of those strong hands. So it's gonna be a very long move. Let's put it on a longer time scale. Let's put it on five minute candles just to see what exactly is happening on the longer time scale. And IWM just keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. And when it finally got some volume, instead of reversing, it actually continued along the track we wanted to. But I would say right here at the top of the hour, one o'clock, you don't want to risk it. There's a good chance to turn around because of the hours we talked about. But you can see it illustrated right here. We, we hit a, a high or a kind of a top uh, in the pattern at the top of the hour, and it cascaded down, nice waterfall, lower lows for the most part, and it's gonna stop at the bottom of the hour, so, or at the, at the top of the next hour. So let's close out and review our trades real quick for the day. We got Baidu, almost 15% in 13 minutes. IWM, later in the day, we had a 30, 36 minute trade, 27% though, it's nice. And then NVIDIA, uh, in five minutes, we made even more, 28.4%. And uh, it just goes to show you that, you know, we'll, we'll coach you if you enroll in, this, in the uh, 
uh, coaching program will we'll get you coached up on uh, a strategy, but there are many strategies that can be executed with, with our software. And the only way to find out which one's best for you is uh, jump in on the 10 day free trial. Um, it's risk free. You just get access to this simulator, all the charts, everything, uh, everything, the meat and potatoes of our program, um, all for free. And then uh, if at the end of the 10 days, you'll meet with a coach uh, once or twice and we'll just talk, we'll figure out your goals and we'll figure out a roadmap for your trading success. And I'll close it out for February 25th. Uh, 2019.